you've got to allow room for the Spirit to move. And, and so sometimes in a, in a meeting, I'll just get up and say, Holy Spirit, you're so welcome in this place. We want your presence. Would you come and reveal Jesus yeah. to everyone here? Would you take us into a deep encounter with the reality of the King of Kings? Holy Spirit, would you bring the atmosphere of heaven into this room? Those that don't know you, would you just open their eyes to see you and to, to, to have an encounter with you? God, Holy Spirit, would you come and do miracles in this place today? Would you come and meet each person where they're at? Those that are struggling, those that feel weak, those that have had a hard week. Holy Spirit, would you come and yeah. comfort them? Would you come and fill them afresh with your presence and refreshing yes. and with strength? Lord, let the joy of God fill this place. Yes. You know, just praying prayers like that, where you're inviting the Holy Spirit into the place, and it's coming from leadership, you know, and then be bold. Sometimes you've got to be bold and step out, you know, and, and sometimes you just scan the room. Holy Spirit, who do you want to speak to? Put someone on my heart. Um, we, we're nearly finished, but I'll just say this. Um, one time I, I, I did that in a church service. Um, I was a part of the leadership and, and I just looked around. I said, Holy Spirit, put someone on my heart. And immediately this couple halfway towards the back, God just put them on my heart. And he said, and all that God gave me was, he said, two decisions, two decisions. That's all I heard. I said, God, what does that mean? Two decisions. And I just got up on the mic and I said, oh, excuse me, you, you boy and a girl like together, you guys, nobody else look around, but I believe God is singling you out today and he's speaking to you and he says you have very, two very important decisions that you need to make and he wants you to make the right decision. Um, now, if that is spoken to you, then please come and talk to me at the end of the service. And that's all I did. I, I, I sat down and the guy came up to me. I didn't even know if they were a couple together. I'd never seen them in my life. The guy came up to me and said, um, I know that one of the decisions I need to make is to, be, to receive Jesus as my Lord and wow. Savior, like God spoke to him. The biggest one. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And so I led him to the Lord right there. Um, I prayed for him. He was filled with the Spirit. And I, I took him out the back to the water, the baptism font, and I baptized him in water, in his clothes, like right there and then. Um, I found out the next day that his girlfriend was pregnant and she had booked in to have an abortion wow. that, that week. And, wow. um, and she, was, she had been speaking to one of the elders one of the elder couples and, um, and told that to them. And so they were able to encourage her not to go ahead with the abortion. That was one of the important decisions. And she actually said to them that I drove to the meeting today. Like she's had a bit of a Christian background, church background. She said, God, if you don't single me out in the meeting today, um, I'm never going to come back to church. I need to know that you're real and that you love me and that you care about me. And she said, when I singled her out, she said, goosebump, Bumps just covered her body and she knew that God loved her and was for her and, and cared about her. And, um, and, and so, yeah, she didn't go ahead with, with the abortion. Um, and God, you know, God just drew her close to himself. And uh, um, sadly, they had a miscarriage. Um, but it's, it's quite incredible to think like, you know, a miscarriage, not your fault, nothing to do with you, but an abortion does have yeah. to do with you. That's your decision. So she can spend the rest of her life not carrying the guilt and the weight of having that abortion. That's right. Um, you know, yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's Beautiful. just incredible. Like, and Beautiful. it just started out with the Holy Spirit. I said, Holy Spirit, awesome. give me something for someone. And, and he immediately responded. And it was simple. It doesn't have to be big, complicated. It can be such a simple thing. He just drops it into your spirit. Because I knew I heard it in my spirit. It wasn't in my mind. It was in my spirit, in my, that inner place. So two decisions. And he pointed those people out. So we've got to be open and willing to do this and willing to step out and willing to be bold. And sometimes you might miss it. Yeah. But surely church is a Make safe place. sometimes. Yeah. Just so sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, and, and that's Try. fine. We made plenty of mistakes. Oh, yeah. And... and like, it's awesome. And people are gracious and forgiving. Like, hey, like, yeah. I'm glad you stepped out. Like, it's like Peter, you know, walked on water when he got back in the boat. I'm, I'm sure the other disciples didn't went, ha, you sank. They would have gone, my goodness, you stepped out. You stepped, you walked on water. That yeah. was incredible. Yeah, like, okay. you know, and then and he also like failed because he took his eyes off Jesus and sank. But, you know, I don't think they would have held that against him. No. <laughs> you know? no.